me anyway. <laughs> Here we go. This one is for the ladies. There's a lot of motherfucking men in the house. Where are the ladies? When I share my sensitive side, brothers start to think that they can try and run game on me. And that would be a mistake. See, mistaking a woman's realness for her weakness is an often common but fatal judgment and error to make because while I might go home, close my door, and have myself a good cry, you will never know. And I would rather die than let you see the tears that are running down my face. No, instead, you'll see me when I move up in front of your house, armed and ready to bring your ass disgrace. From the blows that you're about to receive, delivered from the arsenal of weaponry that is loaded on my tongue. And if my words don't get your attention, nigga, I can just go open my trunk. <laughs> see, whatever it is that you need to get my point, that's what I'm happy to deliver. Just so long as you know that I'm not settling or putting up with any trifling bullshit. I have been there before, and I will no longer be content to sell myself short and not get what I know I deserve. And if that means I spend my time alone, there are worse things in this life, or so I've heard. Now, if your brother can take just a little constructive criticism, I'm going to need you to sit up in your chair, open your ears, and please pay attention because I can shed a little light into the minds of your women. See, we don't want a man that can make us feel safe without making us feel codependent with me. See, we want a man that opens the door on a date and isn't intimidated by our intelligence or our beauty. We want a man that can lead, but know that we have a voice to which you should listen. And we want you to respect and to honor us because we give birth to your children. See, we want you to appreciate our mental capacity and understand that it's very magnitude. It's what often makes our actions, well, seem like insanity. See, it's the very depth of our emotion that makes us love you like none other that also makes us watch you while you sleep and contemplate taking this pillow and throwing your fucking ass when you lose your damn mind and cheat. See, we women are amazing creatures, nurturing, loving, and unique, always ready to serve and protect and fix your ass something to eat. But you have to be worthy of women like us, or we will commence to find another nigga that appreciates and pays us attention. And yes, we'll always make sure to mention that very fact when we pass your ass in the street, talking about what he does and what he drives and just how he treats us. So if you would like to avoid experiencing these embarrassing events, treat your woman right and remember that she was made in God's image, but never mistake her tears for sadness or grief. They may just be the precursor of her relief from getting rid of your sorry ass and calling Tyrone to give you help. Because see, we women always survive no matter what you men tell yourselves. Yeah. You know you're going to come back on the keys when you hear the first line, but it's okay. Can you hear music if you're in heaven? If so, could I learn to play the piano for you? May my fingers stroke the keys, tickle the ivories until melodies sing forth as if from birds in trees can I play for you? 
and that the polishing of a grand with my hands isn't music to your ears. Could I play the flute? And whisper breaths of hope into holes that produce the notes that write the melodies of your heart. And with my eyes closed, could I decipher the music in such a way that it moves you to miss your earthly presence because the hallelujahs of angels pale in comparison can I play for you? Now, if soprano notes don't inspire you to sing harmonies with me, could I learn to play the harp for you? And with strings more beautiful than Lucifer's breastplate, may my fingers pluck the cords so tenderly that rivers of tears drown the cheeks of fallen angels because never have they heard a sound so sweet, so pure, so heavenly since they sang in the throne room before the Almighty. Can I play? Worship isn't enough to restore us to salvation. May I play the violin? And my memory strum the strings of my imagination until I can almost see you standing before me, an apparition of resurrection brought to life not by a wish or a word, but by the strumming of my bow across the strings of my heart like your fingers upon my face. Oh, it seems like just yesterday. I'll lean the cello against my chest and give my arms no rest as I transform emotions into melodious pleas for you to hear the desires of my heart. Sounds that would tempt the archangel Gabriel to leave the gates of heaven unlatched, inviting you to take one last look, bringing you to the edge of paradise, leaning as if to enjoy the view while simply straining to hear the next note, chord, or melody being played for the pleasure of your ears to remind you that while a picture is worth a thousand words and it is the thought that counts, it's the music that lives forever. It never gets lost in translation. It's never miscommunicated. So for all the times that I open my mouth and I never seem to get it right, if you can hear music in heaven, I would ask of you, this last concession, baby, can I 